Hey guys, it's Delicia, and thanks for tuning in to my weekly top five cigar picks. These are the cigars coming out of my humidor, hopefully heading into yours for your week of smoking. Starting with number five this week, we have the Saga Golden Age. This is a great stick. This particular one is beautiful. It has a nice little pigtail. And taking a closer look at it, it has a Dominican Corojo 2006 wrapper, Dominican binder, and Dominican Cuban seed filler. So with this one, you're gonna get the natural tobacco notes that are very typical with the Saga blend. Um, they have that very well-aged, very good tasting tobacco, uh, light pepper, a little bit of a light fruity, kind of a cherry uh, flavor to it, very nice. Number four this week is going out to the Falto. This is the Selección Especial. This is made at the La Aurora factory in the Dominican Republic. And this particular blend is featuring a Dominican wrapper, a Sumatra binder, and a Brazilian and Dominican filler. It's medium bodied, nice balance to it. With this one, you're gonna pick up, uh, again, a nice aged tobacco flavor, a little spiciness, a little bit of that woodsy, kind of a cedar influence on it, very nice. Number three is going out to the La Aurora ADN, or in English, the DNA. This is the Dominican DNA branding. Um, it's featuring one of the oldest um, tobacco methods, I guess you could say, of like uh, aging you know, the tobacco. It's called Anduyo, and that's in the filler, but it has a beautiful band. It's the Dominican flag. A lot of pride goes into this particular stick. Um, beautiful, beautiful looking cigar and the actual blend is made up of a Dominican wrapper from the Chavao region, a Cameroon binder and then inside you have again the Dominican tobacco coming out of that Chavao region, uh, Pennsylvania, Nicaraguan and then you have of course the Dominican that's uh, tobacco that's been using that Anduyo process. That's all in the filler to provide a wonderful flavor. With this one, you get a nice spiciness. You get a woodsy background, a little bit of the cedar oaky kind of mixture, a lot of cinnamon and some anise to it as well. Light cocoa hints as well. Really, really nice flavor on this one. Gonna be about medium plus on the overall strength to it, but again, a lot of good flavor. Number two. Number two is going out to the Villager La Vencedora. Did a full review on this one not too long ago. Excellent stick. It's the newer launch from Billiger this year. It's their first full bodied premium cigar. Really nice flavor notes on this one. Um, really enjoyed smoking this cigar. It comes in three different sizes, I believe. And a closer look, it has the, uh, it's actually a full Nicaraguan puro, but it has a, a Habano Oscuro wrapper. So beautiful color on this one. Not a lot of toothiness at all. It's um, just a nice looking wrapper. Beautiful flavor notes on this one as well. You pick up a spicy, you pick up, um, again, cinnamon notes. You get a little bit of anise in here. You pick up some cocoa, uh, little hints of coffee, just a lot of different uh, transition and complexity notes to it. So really nice, highly recommend this one. And number one this week is a different one. Mm. I have actually have not featured this one on a top five, nor have I done a review of it as of yet, but I did receive a nice little five pack of these. And I have had some requests from people asking about this brand. This is the Toscano. This is the Classico. This is a full Italian stick. Really cool. Love to see, you know, different countries that are doing their own blends. This particular one is using a Kentucky tobacco that's grown in Tuscany. So yum. I mean, that just sounds good right off the bat, even before you smoke it. But when you do smoke it, you do pick up a really nice richness to it. Um, you pick up, I mean, it's savory. You get a little bit of an earthiness to it. You get, um, I get like a, what is the word? Like the roasted hickory kind of a flavor to it. Um, nutty, you get a little bit of the charred oak woodsiness to it. Really nice flavor, light spiciness all the way throughout, but really pleasant. Um, I would see pairing this very nicely with a very rich glass of um, like a red wine you could put with this. Really nice compliment to that, um, but definitely one that you want to give a try. And of course, all of these you definitely want to add to your lineup for your week of smoking. And as always, I thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you next Sunday. Cheers.